It is the first Tuesday in May, which also happens to be National Foster Care Day in the United States. Thousands of children are in need of someone to open their hearts and homes and become foster families in our area. This morning, we are live with one local couple who has done just that. Jameson and Trisha Wirtala have welcomed six foster children over the years and they are joined by Hannah Davis with Youth Villages here in Memphis, which is one of the largest foster care providers in Tennessee. I'd like to thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if, if you could set the stage for us, uh, talk to me about what the challenges are in our community with foster care and the need. So right now we are in need of homes, <laughs> uh, really specifically like for teen teenagers and also siblings. So two, three siblings, um, that's where we need the most help. Right, and, and it's a pressing need. Yeah. Okay, so if you could talk to me as a couple, um, this is a great, I mean, I almost wanna call it a ministry in a sense. Um, can you just explain to us um, who in, the, in your family decided that we should do this and how did that come about? Uh, well, that was kind of me. Uh -huh. um, over the years, today's actually our 15 year wedding anniversary. Oh my goodness, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. And over the years, we, you know, we tried to have children, it didn't work out for us. Uh, and once we moved down to Memphis seven years ago, uh, we had a tough conversation of, hey, we're either gonna have kids or the jobs that we have, we're gonna travel and live that lifestyle. And we talked for a little bit and then we decided that we were gonna go the adoption route. Uh, we, working in the Memphis, we see the need for local children, so we didn't want to go overseas and do any of that. Um, so we ended up contacting a few agencies and you Phil just contacted us back and we were starting classes right away. And Trisha, I mean, can you talk about the fact that you're both, um, you serve the community in a very yeah. unique way. And can you talk about how you have seen this need firsthand? So we see it, I'd say like almost every day. So we come home, we talk about how we see the kids and your jobs. Are... Yeah, so I'm an emergency room nurse. He's a city of Memphis fire paramedic. So we see it constantly. So we know that there was a need out there. So that's where we went. And so talk to me about this discussion you had when, when he brought that to you. What went through your mind? and. And then when was that moment when you guys said, we're doing this? It was one sentence. He looked at me and he was like, do you want to be a mom or do you want um, to be a parent? Or do you want to be pregnant or do you want to be a mom? Oh my goodness. Um, and that sentence right there kind of hit me really hard because we struggled for a good 10 years getting pregnant. So once that sentence came out, I really put it into perspective and then we went with it. How long before you were able to foster? Uh, about a year. Okay, so yeah. that's that's about with the, the classes, and then once we got our first phone call for our first sibling set, we, it was about a year. Okay, Hannah, talk to me about who can be a foster parent and the process. Yeah, so um, anybody actually over 25, um, you will go through a background check and you will take classes. So classes are actually ongoing. Um, and then you'll have a youth village specialist once uh, you get a child, whether that's either being reunified with their family or a relative, or actually finding their forever home like the Ritalos. So um, you're never left alone. You have somebody to come in with youth villages you're constantly getting uh, training and even after hours you have somebody that's there for support yeah wow okay and so if you could explain how youth villages has been part of your journey um, all this time so they're pretty much family yeah um, we treat them like family Savannah La Camry um, and Hannah pretty much they pick up their phone 24 7 we have kids with um, specific special needs um, that we're calling midnight sometimes and <laughs> Hannah doesn't know how to shut off her phone so Aww. we call um, and she picks up and just very supportive in our house constantly they'll drop everything she'll drop everything that she's doing just to meet us and get them where they need to be or what they need and Hannah what is the biggest need right now for youth villages with uh, with the kids um, like I said, just homes. Um, we are really needing those homes and people who are willing to, you know, take the time and the patience to just love and, you know, meet the kids where they are. You know, we don't know when they're coming in, what they may need, and as we build that relationship with the foster families and ourselves, you know, we, we assess what they need and then we try to come in and build that support for them. And we know nothing is perfect, right? So nobody's mm -hmm. going into this saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna have this perfect life now. <laughs> but can mm -hmm. you both 
tell me the greatest challenge and the greatest reward? Because if you kept doing it, the reward was greater. So if you could just, what is the greatest challenge and the greatest reward? The greatest challenge is taking that first step and committing yeah. to those, you know, month and a half so of classes on the weekends and you know going through all that training having people come in your house for the first time you know that's normally your private spot um, you know then getting kids that come to you with trauma and having to work through that like we went from one night to having a party at our house so the next night we had two kids dropped off at our door yeah like overnight so we don't get that nine month period to kind of ease into it you know but getting to the road of with our two kids that are adopted now like and knowing that they're with us forever and that we can continue loving them and taking care of them is probably the greatest reward that youth, we have out of it. Youth Villages kind of gave us the family that we couldn't have. So it's a matter of like we went, like he said, we went from parents on a Monday night after shift right out of the gate. So we're learning as we go is that, really what it is. Yes. Yeah, so you're a mom. Yeah, I'm it a mom. Happened. I'm a mom of two boys. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you all for coming here and, and bearing your soul and then you explaining how others can, can join in on this cause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There is much. Oh, happy anniversary. Thank yes. you. Okay. There is much.